Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update. My first stop is to water vapor to give you the lay of the land here. So remember on this, your oranges and your reds represent the drier air aloft. Your moisture is going to be in the whites and the blues. And I'll mark the storm track, and it's kind of like this, still favoring B.C., Canada, Pacific Northwest. But I want you to see the dip in the jet. Um, that is the trough of low pressure. We'll call this our windy low. So this windy trough, this windy low, is going to be moving across the northern tier between 10-4 and 10-5, specifically the afternoon of 10-4 through probably midday 10-5. That's when we're going to see most of the strong wind across Montana, across Idaho, across uh, Wyoming and northern Utah and parts of Colorado between that time period. Okay, that's part of my bullet points this morning. So storm track favors B.C., where we're going to see precipitation, it should be snow above 5,000 along the coastal range of B.C. Montana, Wyoming, Colorado, Utah, that wind event is afternoon 10-4 through probably the middle part of the day on 10-5. And here are the peak gusts that I'm seeing. So not quite as high as yesterday, if you remember that update, but still looking at winds of a peak gust of probably 80 on the Grand Teton, Long, 70, Kings, 50, Granite, 80, and Gannett, 60. So the big five showing strong winds between Friday afternoon and probably Saturday midday. So something to keep in mind. Another way to look at that is through the time slice here, the time height forecast. Uh, this is for Berthoud Pass in Colorado. First off, the humidity is very dry, the relative humidity here. Um, you can see that with the yellow and orange colors through all layers of the atmosphere out to 72 hours. Now, notice the wind, and that wind increase with that pressure gradient comes through uh, between Friday afternoon and Saturday midday. You can see it with the wind barbs all intensifying. And there's even a few, a few full flags here, and that represents 50 knots. So these are some pretty strong winds coming through. And a lot of the time you can get a compression at play as you get lower into the atmosphere near the top of some of these high peaks. There's a compression or sometimes even a gap or summit flow. So that's why we're going to see strong winds, and you can see it represented there graphically. Let's look at the jet stream. So the key player here, that's by the close of business uh, uh, today, and you can see the dip in the jet there getting ready to hit the Pacific Northwest. Watch it play out. There it is, boom. By Friday afternoon and Saturday, it swings through, and then we're out of it. High pressure comes back. Here comes the next trough by 10-9, 10-10, 10-11, hits the west coast. You can see the dip in the jet. That would likely bring some action through the lower 48. Right now, it doesn't look to be um, significant, but probably some wind and maybe a little bit of precipitation. But that's not a very cold pattern, so it's probably going to end up being rain in the lower 48. All right, here's the forecast uh, radar and satellite. So here we are by 5.30 this afternoon, high and dry, abnormally warm and dry across the lower 48. There's our storm system getting ready to hit the Pacific Northwest, and there it is. So it rolls in, there comes the wind, crosses through, and then it's out of here, and then it's back to high and dry. Until we get into probably, 10, like I was saying, probably 10.9, 10.10, and 10.11, um, here it comes. You can see that trough beginning to move in. Some cloud cover increases. By the time we get into 10, 11, here comes the storm system itself, and that starts to produce some rain showers and probably some wind across the Intermountain West from California all the way into Utah and Colorado. But again, doesn't look terribly significant at this point. As far as snowfall uh, through 10, 12, it's all bottled up into most of uh, just BC. A little bit maybe up on Baker, but let me zoom in on this. Um, so again, you got to be about 5,000 feet along the coastal range to really get that to get that uh, heavier snowfall. And there's going to be some for the interior as well. More as you go into the northern latitudes of BC, where you see those brighter colors, those those pinks, those purples, that could that could be six to 12 inches or more. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this uh, morning mountain weather update. Again, it's all about the wind forecast here for the Intermountain West coming in. 10-4 and 10-5. Some of these gusts could, could go 50, 60, 70, 80 miles per hour. Take care and have a great day today. Thanks for tuning in.